मैं कह रहा हूँ कि ये बिल्कुल मार्शल लॉ की तरफ जा रहे हैं ये सारी कौम को समझना चाहिए कि मार्शल लॉ का मतलब ये कि यहाँ आज़ादी और जमहूरियत खत्म जमहूरियत और आज़ादी एक आदमी फैसले कर रहा है इस मुल्क में सिर्फ उसको ये खतरा है कि उसकी कुर्सी चली जाएगी अगर मैं मैं इंतजार में आ गया जबकि मैं कुछ नहीं करने लगा उसकी वजह से ये सारा मुल्क का तबाही की तरफ धकेल रहा है और क्योंकि मुझे कोई अहतमाद ही नहीं है कि बाहर जब निकलेंगे क्या होगा तो मैं तो समझता हूँ कि इन्होंने फिर से गिरफ्तार करने की कोशिश कर दी है और अगर किया और उसका कोई रद्द अमल आया वो फिर मेरे पे जिम्मेदार करेंगे हालांकि मेरा मुझे क्या पता है जब ये हुआ है मुझे तो बंद कर दिया इन्होंने चार दिन मुझे तो पता ही नहीं कि क्या हो रहा था ये मुजामत आप कर रहे हैं तकरीबन पिछले तेरह महीनों से क्या देख रहे हैं सवाल ही पूछता हूँ कि मैं इतनी देर से लगा हुआ कह रहे हैं कि हम और अमन एहतजाज करते रहे हैं सत्ताईस साल से सारे हमारे बड़े तारीखी दल से हुए लोग आते हैं मैं इनको वॉर्न करता रहा कि इसको मुल्क को ना वहाँ ले जाओ जब ये सब के हाथ से निकल जाए मेरी तकरीरें हैं कि हम ये श्रीलंका जब लीडर का स्कॉप निकला आता है वो किसी के कंट्रोल में नहीं होता मेरे कंट्रोल में जलसे होते थे धरने होते थे सब पूरा मन रहते थे तो ये जो इन्होंने किया उस दिन पकड़ के सारी दुनिया के सामने मुझे एक दहशत गर्द दिखा के फौज पकड़ के मुझे लेके जा रही है तो उसका रद्द अमल क्या मैं जिम्मेदार हूँ उसका हाँ सब इमरान रियाज साहब एक सेकंड वेल आई मीन बेसिकली वी आर ग्रेटफुल टू आर आर ग्रेशियल सिस्टम इट इज द ओनली थिंग दैट इज स्टॉपिंग पाकिस्तान फ्रॉम डिसेंडिंग इन टू बिकमिंग अ कंप्लीट बनाना रिपब्लिक वे लॉ ऑफ द जंगल प्रिवेल्स आई मीन आई द वे आई वाज पिकड अप फ्रॉम हियर लाइक अ टेररिस्ट विदाउट एनी वारंट्स Can you tell me a little bit about how you're no, feeling so, so now I'm, I'm, this, this time? I'm trying to explain to you. So, we, the only <coughs> hope we have is the judiciary, which again protected me. Otherwise, I'm still not sure when I step out outside the judicial comp, this uh, high court, that they will arrest me again. Because they'll just come up with another case. The judge, the judge said that um, he was asking you to to condemn the violence that's been happening on the streets since then. Are you now going to take the chance to condemn the violence? I condemned it in the Supreme Court yesterday. <coughs> this is my peaceful. I said, don't push it to a stage where it where mobs turn out on the streets like in Sri Lanka, and that's exactly what they did. Because they, if I was in jail, how am I going to control the people? So until. Never did I allow this sort of thing to happen. It's only when four days I knew nothing what was going on. That's when things went out of control. And my worry is that if they pick me up again, again I will be inside. Who is going to control what happens after that? I should not be blamed for that. So what is your plan now? Because you know that you've got protected bail until next Wednesday. Well, we're trying to find out because uh, we are wondering what could we could easily be again. Uh, I could again be. There's already Punjab police here, uh, and, and they're going to get easily arrested afterwards. Are you expecting to be arrested? I, I do. I do expect because what is Punjab police doing here right now? The, what What is their role? They've come in big force, so they've clearly come to arrest me. Do you think the military leadership will allow you to take part in elections to win those elections? Does it seem to be possible if they are done? I think a whole. democracy is done on the right now i feel they already they are violated the constitution which is clear that in 90 days when you dissolve your government you dissolve two out of a four provincial governments which we govern elections should have been in 90 days the government has not just refused they violated the supreme court order and the constitution they refused to hold elections because they lose so we are heading towards a, a total breakdown of our democratic system of a fundamental rights in my entire just put everyone in jail so who, how do we know what how to control our, our people right now can, no can there be any resolution with this current army chief in position the oh, i have repeatedly sent him these messages not now ever since he's been there i said look i know your fear is that if i come to power i won't do it i'm i'm sent and it doesn't make any difference because he's deeply insecure because i removed it as the isi chief he's just uh, 
there's this strange paranoia and all this is happening because of this just one thing so it's not an existential battle between you and the military leadership in general it, the military has nothing to do with it military means one man the army chief there's no democracy in the military so whatever he decides happens and this is what he's doing right now does he need to step down either he should look the only solution ask anyone in the world right now any expert the only solution are free and fair election yes everything else is a disaster right now do you believe those will happen in october do you believe those will happen this year i think that the the ruling lot are so petrified because the gap between us and them is so huge now we won despite all the help from the establishment with the pdm parties 30 out of 37 by elections we swept so they are pet the gap is even widened now so they are petrified of elections and that's why they're running away from them Arthur, will you try to establish contact with army again did you, did you make a mistake by taking the support of the military in 2018 because many say that that's the reason you came, they, they helped you come to power and then they pushed you out of power if i had come to power because of the military how come that once we were ousted we the military openly supported these PDM parties. Open, open support. Everyone knows this. We won 30 out of 37 by elections. And why they're openly supporting them? We're still saying hold elections. And we know we will win it. So we don't need the military. But I, to correct you, I never won.